think it's almost time, almost time for me to press the magic button and start the presentation. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Raygun is a uh, relatively small portable device which has been created by MirrorMate to assist with a wide variety of skin complaints. Let's have the first video then. Let me know if you can hear this well. Raygun is MirrorMate's all new BEV like device. It's designed to treat many kinds of surface and deep skin issues more effectively and safely. It can help with acne, psoriasis, vitiligo, eczema, persistent itching, even skin cancers, and other skin problems caused by fungi, bacteria, or viruses. Raygun also benefit plants and kill mold spots on walls. Raygun creates the UV light within the glass tube. The bandwidth of the light is very narrow. It's 221 to 223 nanometers. This is incredibly small. The photons of this light are powerful enough to kill fungi, viruses, and cancer cells living on the skin, but it is safe. The dead skin layer on the human body almost completely absorbs VUV radiation, so the VUV does not harm normal skin cells. And what's more, VUV photons kill the chemical reaction to create nitric oxide and ozone within cells and tissues. And this can all work together to help various skin conditions. In addition, Raygun forms a microscopic secondary ionization layer between the glass tube and the target skin. Current flows between the tube and the target. You can increase this current by placing an earthen layer. In a tennis pad on the opposite side of the target area. This increases the amount of ozone and nitric oxide that's created, and more importantly, allows pathogen disabling compounds to travel deeper into the body to reach deep problem areas, all without harming healthy cells. Single button operation makes ray gun very easy to use. This will be plugging the power. Place it on the desired spin area, put on some protective glasses, and pull the trigger. And you can enjoy the treatment. There are three modes of ray gun. There's regular contact mode, there's angle mode, and there's penetration mode. Penetration mode is using the TENS plan. For sensitive skin and small skin problems, you can use contact mode and place the tube on the skin directly. For non-sensitive skin, you can make the edge of the tube touch the skin and slowly move the tube around. The angle mode is much more powerful than contact mode. For deeper skin problems, we recommend using penetration mode. You can attach the earthy pad to the opposite side of the lesion area. Penetration mode can improve the effects of contact mode or angle mode. So ray gun really is the perfect gift for anyone who has skin problems. Okay. Right, so I think the audio was bad on that video, but never mind. I'll see if I can change the setting at some point. But anyway, let's move on to the next slide and find out more about what's happening here. So it's called Raygun because of its shape. It's been designed with skin issues in mind, obviously, both towards the surface and deeper. Uh, VUV, for those of you who haven't heard of it, is called a vacuum ultraviolet radiation. It is absorbed by air. It has medical applications. So with a bit of Googling, you can go around and see that it's quite well known that VUV radiation does work on uh, microfungi spores uh, and leads to spore in inactivation. So it's affecting the ability of the cells, uh, the negative pathogenic cells to reproduce, destruction of the cell wall and DNA. So therefore, that's direct killing of the cell. So it's, it's good stuff. 
okay? Vacuum UV or UV wavelengths shorter than 200 nanometers are strongly absorbed by molecular oxygen in the air. The, the longer wavelengths of 150 to 200 nanometers can penetrate through nitrogen. All right, so that's why we have to have a device very close to our body, then touching the skin in order to get the energy into the body. Further research into VUV shows that there's a valid germicidal results can be used with VUV treatments. Okay, so if there's germs inside the skin, it makes a lot of sense. You could use this device. And so what Spooky2, what Miramate has done is they've taken this technology and they've put it into a simple, easy to use uh, handheld device. Now, just taking a quick look at the electromagnetic spectrum here, we've all heard of UVA and UVB radiation. Those are the things that we block when we're wearing suntan cream. There's also UVC radiation, which is blocked by our ozone layer, by the upper atmosphere, so it doesn't, so it's not a terrestrial thing. That is germicidal, but we can't use that on humans because it has negative effects. But the VUV radiation is a different wavelength altogether and has its own very special distinct properties because it's a different type of energy. So if the uh, UVA and UVB does whatever UV, UVA and UVB does, then VUV will do whatever it does because it's a different type of radiation with a very, very specific wavelength. So there we go. As John mentioned in the video, good for acne, psoriasis, vitiligo, eczema, persistent itching, uh, fungal problems in the skin, including toe fungus, nail fungus, bacteria, and uh, and also viruses you might have caught and might have got under your skin. And you can also use it on your plants and getting rid of mold spots in walls because it has enough power to be able to do that. It's a relatively cost-effective device but you know it works i'll put my microphone right beside the speaker to see whether you can get um, better audio if i do it this way in for humans that's you and i but also our furry friends and plants as well and here we have a showing just how it is used. You hold the end of the ray gun onto the skin where you wish to have treated, and then you pull the trigger. For you and I, ray gun can help with acne, age spots, psoriasis, vitiligo, eczema, persistent itching, basal cell skin cancers. Now we're talking about cancers, which are quite serious, squamous cell, skin cancers, melanomas, and other forms of skin cancers. And we can back this up because we've done lab tests, and I'll be showing this in a short while. Um, it can also cause other common skin problems caused by fungi, bacteria, or viruses. And being for humans, that's So this is not just something which is done in the air, so to speak. Uh, Miramate has actually conducted experiments on the effectiveness of the VUV radiation on human melanoma. Okay, so we're talking about a cancerous condition. According, there we go. As I was saying, it's conducted experiments on the effectiveness of the VUV on human melanoma. And according to the results, VUV is lethal to human malignant melanoma cells and can significantly inhibit human meloma, melanoma cell proliferation and activity, particularly when used with earthing. So that's actually quite a discovery, really. Okay, if you've, there's some theories which suggest that cancers have a viral component to them. So essentially, you'll be also killing off the virus, which is making the cancer happen. You're also directly attacking the melanoma cells themselves when you're using the earthing method. So unlike other forms of ultraviolet radiation uh, or UVC radiation, which is harmful to the skin, VUV with its different wavelength will not harm the skin in this form. Obviously, you make sure you wear the protective spectacles, but only the bugs which need to be killed. The bandwidth is very narrow. The photons of this light are powerful. All right, the individual packets of energy being released by this device is powerful. 
the dead skin layer will not be affected. Reg regular cells will not be affected, and it will only really go after the nasty stuff. It will produce the nitrous oxide, which is necessary for the health of uh, the energy system within the cells. I understand that works alongside the mitochondria and other things inside the body to, in order to make the cells work effectively. And the ozone itself would help to kill off a wide variety of different evils inside the body. Raygun will also form this microscopic secondary ionization layer, so therefore you can do the grounding method and go deeper into the body. Because it's single button operation, it's very simple, very quick, very easy to use. Plug it in, put the glasses on, use your earthing um, tens pad if required, and then just push the button. Use it for about two minutes or not more than five minutes on each area twice a day. That's essentially your, you know, prescribed usage. Two, two, two minutes to five minutes on each lesion area once or twice a day. So this is an illustration of what the contact mode looks like, which is when the face of the tube touches the skin. It's used for sensitive skin and small localized areas. Then you've got the angle mode, which is stronger, ironically. You might think you're, you've got less contact with the skin, but actually if you use the edge and steadily move the tube around, you actually get more power going in. And it's, uh, it's, it's good. You can cover more area and you can send more power into the body. And then here's the example of what earthing looks like when you've got the TENS pad attached to the ray gun itself and you're firing the lights through the body where there's a problem. So that's the penetration mode for when you've got deeper skin issues. Here's some basic specifications for the device itself. So it will work on your mains currents. Uh, if you wanted to use a power adapter, then that's 12 volts. And it's a you know standard plugs, five watt device, so therefore it's very low power, so you don't have to worry about your electric bills. And you've got a warranty which goes on for one whole year, so it's a good little device. Just a few cautionary tales here: don't use if you're pregnant or if you're trying to become pregnant or breastfeeding. I don't know whether there is any particular hard and fast knowledge about this. It's just that we want to be careful. Do not use if you have epilepsy or light-induced seizures or migraines. Anything that flashes could possibly um, affect you. Do not use if you've got a disease related to photosensitivity. Okay, because uh, there are some... I used to know a guy, a, a lecturer from my old college, and he would dress all in white and have a white hat on and have dark glasses on because he was very photosensitive. It's a real condition. Do wear the supplied spectacles. Don't look directly into the UV light. And don't share if you've got an infection. So quite quite basic stuff, really. Not too much to worry about. Now, if it breaks down, we've got this image in the middle of the screen there of what the replacement vacuum tube looks like. Uh, the, the, the gun itself should work for a very long period of time. It's a very sturdy build, but the tube could burn out. So instead of buying a whole new device, uh, they've made it so that you can just purchase a new a vacuum UV unit rather than paying for the whole thing, which is very considerate of the Miramate brand. Right, a little more information about how it's used. I'll put my microphone right close to the speaker again. Hello everyone. Welcome to our Miramate channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to use Miramate ray gun. When you receive your package, you will get the following items. 10 earthing pads, an earthing cable, a power supply, a pair of goggles, a gas tube, the ray gun main unit, and a user manual. First, you need to fully insert the gas tube carefully into the ray gun head. Be careful when installing the gas tube, as it is fragile and may break if too much force is applied. Next, you should connect the power adapter into the ray gun power socket. 
plug the other end of the power adapter into the mains power source. An LED light in the handle will illuminate when ray gun receives power. At this point, put on the UV protective glasses. These must always be worn before using ray gun. Finally, you should place the tube directly on the problem area and gently press the trigger for the desired treatment duration. You will hear a high-pitched buzzing noise. Release the trigger to stop the treatment. The first mode is contact mode. To apply contact mode, you should place the tube directly on the problem area and pull the trigger. The second mode is angle mode. For this mode, you touch the skin with the edge of the tube and slowly move the tube across the target area. This mode is recommended for non-sensitive skin. It provides a higher treatment efficiency because an arc will form around the edges. The third mode is penetration mode. This mode uses an earthing pad to increase power and penetration of treatments. Plug one end of the earthing cable into the little hole next to the power supply at the base of the handle. Plug the other end of the cable into the earthing pad and position the earthing pad on the opposite side of the problem area. This mode can be used in combination with the other two modes. Thank you for watching this video. What are the differences between mirror made flash and ray gun? Now, flash is a VUV device that we developed a while ago, <clears throat> it produced amazing results. Now the wavelength band from flash is wider. It isn't just 222. It, when, when flash illuminates, it, it appears to be white. And a lot of the energy goes into the other spectrum of the VUV. This is why you can't use flash for long periods of time. The VUV light from ray gun is much narrower in bandwidth and is therefore safer. Now flash works a different way as well, it produces very strong bursts of ultraviolet light. A ray gun delivers a continuous stream of VUV at a very high frequency. So more VUV is delivered, but it's delivered in a more safe way. Now in angle mode, ray gun can produce a large amount of ozone, nitric oxide, as well as localized heat. All of these factors combine to treat skin conditions much more effectively than contact mode alone. What are the different... Hi, I'm Amy. The reason I got the Miramate Ray Gun was I was itching and it was mm. so uncomfortable. I have to say that I am completely amazed by how quickly it helped me clear this situation up. And I trust it so much with assisting in all sorts of skincare and getting deeper into the body that I have the pleasure of inhabiting. I learned about Miramate because I am a devoted Spooky 2 user. I've also recommended it to friends who have issues with mold and they've given me positive feedback as well. I'm really, really happy. I found this when I needed it so profoundly. Okay. So one thing we've been um, suggested we could all have a look at is a book called The Essence of Happiness and True Freedom, which can be downloaded from spooky2-mail.com. And will assist you in finding the ways of you know, well-being of body and mind. And so that's something which is going to be useful to you. And I would recommend you download it. Now, finally, so let's have a quick look at the chat in the Q&A session to see what kind of information is, uh, what kind of questions people have got.
Can you use Raygun for hemorrhoids? Uh, I haven't tried. I suppose you could try if you wanted to, but I wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be quite how you could do it because essentially the hemorrhoids are rather inside the body and you might have to put the entire gun's head inside the body to give it a go. Uh, I also don't know how hemorrhoids or indeed the inner workings of the body would react to ultraviolet. So therefore, I would be very cautious about that and would probably recommend it's not the right thing to use for hemorrhoids. Uh, if you wanted to use Spooky 2 for hemorrhoids, you could probably get some progress that way. That would be a good way of doing it. Yeah, um, I would go down the Spooky 2 route of pharmaceutical and herbs. How do you know when to change the gas tube? Uh, I think the gas tube uh, gives off a very slight purple hue when it's being activated and it'll probably won't make a, make a noise and it won't give off any lights and it's not working anymore. Uh, does it work on skin tags? Well, it could do depending upon what is causing the, the problem in the first place, but it would make a lot of sense that if there was a pathogenic component or indeed there's something wrong with the way in which the skin is growing, that it could be useful for that too. Is this safe for blue vein swelling in inner eye? I wouldn't put ultraviolet near my eye. I would not put ultraviolet near my eye at all. Uh, it's probably the wrong tool for that part of the body. Again, I would go much more in terms of um, Spooky 2, and I would go for programs which deal with infection and inflammation of that area uh, and specific things for that. I don't think that the ray gun is the right thing for that. Warts, yes, not a problem uh, because warts have a pathogenic component to them and the VUV can be used against the pathogenic components and thus restoring the skin to well-being. If my skin starts to peel after using the ray gun for a week, does it mean I should use it for fewer minutes? Yes, I you use it for fewer minutes, use it less frequently uh, and titrate downwards with your usage because you want the skin to be burning or painful or inflamed or anything, just cut it down. Try and go for much shorter sessions, see how you do uh, and balance the sensations in the skin with the healing of the disease. Can it be used to treat candida in the body? No. Uh, I, I guess you could apply the ray gun to a particular area where you believe there is more candida growing and use the earthing pad on the other side of the body in order to try and get some penetration going through. But candida is an aggressive infection which can dominate the entire body. So therefore, a spot-based treatment would not necessarily be beneficial or appropriate. But if it's a, lo a localized thing, then that's different especially if you've got um, skin fungus infections going along with your internal candida infections as well. Can you break down for mast cells or directly under the skin? I think you probably could. And I think it would probably be a good way of doing it that way. Can you use the ray gun on the nose? Uh, there is a risk that some of the light could go into your eyes. So you've got to make sure you're using the, the spectacles properly and keeping all of the lights out of your eyes. But you could, in theory, use it on the nose. But I would still say that could be dangerous to your vision. Would this be helpful for a tick bite that itches? Yes. I think it would, but I think that would be contact mode. You'd have to do it on, so you put the whole device onto where the tick bite is, then you start flashing because there then will be the uh, the various infections associated with the tick bite, which will be being controlled with the help of Raygun. Would it work for gum or tooth infection? I, uh, I would say you'll probably be better off using the old laser twin from Spooky 2 with that. Can you use it for cysts, thyroid cysts filled with fluid? Uh, well, it's a question of what's going on with the thyroid and how the thyroid re would react to the VUV. I don't think you'd have too much to worry about when treating the neck area. So yes, you could probably do it on thyroid. But on the uh, but in order to try and deal with some of the cysts, I would use the penetration method if you wanted to go down that route. But again, I think Spooky 2 could be a bit more applicable because Raygun is predominantly a skin-based, a skin-related tradition. If you use on a pet, do you have to shave their fur? 
if you want to get the power in with greater ability, then yes, shaving around the area would be a good thing. And make sure that the animal's head is pointing away so that no light goes into the eyes. Yes, it could be uh, effective on cystic acne. Quite a good device for that sort of thing. The girl in the video says you can treat mold in walls. Let's say you've got a bathroom and it's got some mold spots on it. You can put put the ray gun onto the mold spot and just give it a nice long treatment. And then the mold will essentially be killed off. Doesn't affect sleep, no. Does closing the eyes protect against the light in a situation where the UV light can be potentially visible from uh, under the spectacle frame? <sighs> I don't know how far the VUV will penetrate your eyelids, so I'm cautious about that. But, you know, closing your eyes will be a good thing and using the spectacles and using more protection for your eyes, possibly even a sleep mask in some cases, just to make sure you're blocking out everything. All right. You want to protect your eyes. You want to protect your eyes. What is Spooky 2? Uh, Spooky 2 is fantastic. It's something you need to get into. You go to the website spooky2-mal.com. That's spooky figure two hyphen mall.com and it'll provide you with rife frequency therapy equipment which i use myself on a daily basis and is awesome and you must get into it full stop finito the end end of argument if your skin condition is on your back shoulders to mid back can you somehow use the earthing pad on your chest yes i think you could um, but I think it is worthwhile being careful and avoiding the heart so you know where the heart is, so you have to try and avoid that area as best as you can. May we request for a replay? There will be a replay, which will be given um, by this, the, the wonderful team here at Mirror Maiden Spooky 2. Uh, I wouldn't put an earthing pad on, on, the, on the nose. I would not put the UV too close to my eyes. I would be very careful of that. Can it be used for the circle cell first stage skin cancer? Yes, there is plenty of evidence to suggest that this is a good, useful device which can help to get, cut down your um, skin in you know your, your skin cancers. I had something like psoriasis on my elbow, and after using ray gun for about a week, the skin started getting really flaky. I put on an antibiotic ointment on the elbow and used Duroderm patch on the elbow. After about forty eight hours, I removed the patch, and the skin was smooth again. Hmm. So the device was working on the problem and then you did some healing afterwards and it got better. That's a good thing. Okay, so that's the chat parts dealt with. Now let's have a look at the Q&A section and see if there's anything there, if anything else there new. How many people, what time frame did Miramate test the experiment? I don't know um, how Miramate did their experiment, okay? I, I was have not given that primary data. But on the other hand, they are, you know, the, the equipment which I've used with Spooky2 and from Miramate and also Hiwi has demonstrated to me that this stuff just does its job. So it's worthwhile. Of course, it can be used on pets, yes. Can it be used to tighten skin under the eyes? Be very careful when you, I mean, this is a, it's an ultraviolet device. Okay, it's an ultraviolet device. You don't want to have the ultraviolet too close to your eyes, do you? No, I wouldn't use it near the eyes or that close to the eyes. Even if you're wearing the, the spectacles, I want to be very, I, want, I would want to be careful. An inner ear itch. Um, I don't see why it shouldn't be used. Um, now, if you have your ear there uh, but you want to use the earthing pad you could put it down maybe on your opposite shoulder so the current will hopefully go through the area and down through to the shoulder and that will hopefully avoid a lot of difficulties uh what's the difference between this rig okay lymphoma homo on the foot yes i'm sure you could use it for that If you're doing okay with your Spooky 2 equipment, you won't need to buy another bit of equipment. But you, if you buy another bit of equipment, then you can do different things with it in different ways. So therefore, it's worthwhile having 
I mean, I've got a ray gun downstairs. I haven't used it yet, but I'm planning on to for um, some of my skin fungus. All right, the, the gun itself doesn't give off different frequencies. It gives off the light, the VUV light, which has its own frequency and has its own, uh, you know, properties. And yes, it can be used for eczema. Okay. So it's a good device. It seems to be able to do an awful lot for you. We've got a few more things in the chat. Let's have a quick look. Yep, okay. In the case of cystic acne, which can affect a large area of the body, what's the best approach of using the ray gun? Should the angle mode be used to, to scan the area rather than two minutes per pimple, so to say? Yes, I think that the angle method would be better because you can cover more and it's more powerful that way. And if you also added earthing to it as well, that would also help out of thought. Okay, so I think that's all the questions answered so far. Uh, are there any other questions? Okay, I think we've done pretty much everything. Yes, it can be used on age spots, but I want to encourage you to be very careful about using it on um, around the around the eyes. Very careful. Okay. It probably could help with ros um, rosacea. I'm still not quite sure how you pronounce that word, because uh, you know there's a pathogenic component to it, and you can probably improve the situation. I would recommend you get ray gun because it's because with with me and with my attitude is if I've got more equipment when something crops up, then I'm equipped to use it. I am prepared in advance, and I believe in being prepared in advance because all kinds of things have been thrown my way with my health, uh, and therefore it's necessary for me to have like my own medicine cabinet for the particular complicated things that I suffer from. Okay, uh, so yes, I would suggest with a certain level of strength that you get a ray gun too. Yes, it's there for melatoma of the skin. Well, congratulations, Nora, on your success in healing your lesion in just three days. Yeah, you've got to work out how your body's reacting to this. You've got to work out how long the treatment should be for you. And you've got to work out how comfortable you feel having that treatment being done in that particular way in order for everything to work out. All right, because when we're when we're treating ourselves, we don't have a doctor telling us what to do. All right, so we've got to be really honest. We've got to observe how we're recovering. And also whether there's any challenges, whether we're using it too much or too little and and just titrate bit by bit, titrate up, titrate down in terms of time and the rest of it. Well, it treats the skin cancer because it creates the VUV radiation. The VUV radiation has an ionizing effect which will penetrate the skin. The VUV itself, as it's already been pointed out, is lethal to, to the cancer cells, it, cells in the skin. Also, as uh, Raymond Rife pointed out, there could easily be a viral component associated with um, cancers themselves. And so therefore the VUV will also operate on any viruses in the area thus reducing uh, any other forces which could be making the disease condition more pathogenic and more dangerous. So it therefore treats the skin cancer because that's what it does. It's just it's just the feature of the VUV radiation deployed in this way. Okay, and it's, it, it's not like Spooky 2, and in fact, you don't have to load frequencies into it. It's just based upon the energy coming out of the tube. It could be used very easily for someone with a pacemaker. I would probably not use the penetrative method just in case. Or if you do, make sure the make sure it's going well away from the heart area. But yes, I think it could be used on someone with a pacemaker. Uh, again, be aware of the heart area. Be aware that you don't want anything too close to it. Uh, and do the best you can with it. Okay, does that make sense? I think that the ray gun is a fantastic device. I think it's very powerful. And I think it's it's amazing that it's being created for us. VUV stands for vacuum UV radiation, which means it's being produced in a different way. 
it's a very specific wave wave band or, or wave frequency all right it's very precise and it has its own specific specific features as opposed to uva uvb and uvc radiation so therefore it's a different type which has been deployed in this particular device for the purposes of controlling diseases of the skin okay so it, the energy it gives off is lethal to a lot of the things that's making you ill so if you've got acne, you've got spots, you've got um, fungal infections of the skin, you've got skin cancers, you've got lesions. You've got basically nearly anything wrong with your skin. Then this is the device which can, you know, target those geographical areas of your body and deal with the problem. That's that's how the device works. And therefore, it's incredibly powerful. It doesn't put out ozone gas, but the ozone gas is produced when the ultraviolet radiation hits oxygen, all right? Because oxygen is O2 and it turns into O3 when ultraviolet radiation is applied to it. So therefore it will produce a small quantity of ozone and some ozone will be produced in the body in minute quantities. And that will also have an effect of cutting down the disease and pathogens inside you because it helps to kill germs. So there's lots of little things that go on, lots of things to unpack there in terms of the effects of the VUV radiation and what it does specifically for, let's say, in this particular example, skin cancer, and also all of the other things that's going wrong in the area, thus producing a much healthier condition for your skin to be in, thus reducing the, the agents of decay, the agents of disease. So alternative health is all about increasing wellness and reducing toxicity or reducing pathogens. Does breathing ozone gas healing for us? No, you don't want to breathe ozone gas, right? You want to, you want to, you can drink ozone water. You can put ozone through water and then drink the water. And that's part of the Bob Beck protocol. And that's quite good for you because it brings some of the goodness of the ozone into you. It's not too much. Does that make sense? Okay, good, good, good. Any other questions, anything you're really struggling with in terms of understanding this one particular device or how you can use VUV in this way? I, I don't think it's something you should be scared of. I think it's something you should you should you should be embracing. No, it's, it's Bob Beck, B O B B E C K, Bob Beck. Bob Beck was a fascinating gentleman who invented the photographic camera flash way back in the day. He also used his technology to create an electric, uh, an electric pulsar, which is used part of his protocol. And he also did the Bob Beck blood purifier. You can do Bob Beck blood purifying with Spooky 2 equipment. Okay. Uh, I personally would want to use it on dry skin. I would want to use it on dry, clean skin. I would not want to have water having any anything to do with it because that could affect the properties or the conductivity if you're doing the penetration method. Uh, I would rather do it, use it the way in which it was intended. Yeah, it's good. It's actually a very good device. I mean, if you, you if you've got anything going on with the skin, pretty much anything then this is like the thing you've just got to have full stop in these of, you know, that that's it. It's just another useful way of doing things. Okay. Okay, the way it works is there's a company called Spooky2, all right? That has other sister companies associated with it. One of them, which is called Miramate, which uh, provides all of the Miramate products, including the ray gun. And the other one is called Hewe, H-E-A-W-E-A, -E -E and they provide a small portable frequency generator, which can be programmed with the, the Spooky2 database for the purposes of dealing with a wide variety of conditions using Rife therapy, as well as being used as a zapper and a blood purifier. Okay, so there's uh, lots of different things that you can find out about. Um, the website spooky 2 mail. I'll write it in the chat, www spooky2 mail.com that's where you go for spooky2 it's all part of the same group they're like a group of companies spooky2 is like the big one 
And then underneath that, we've then got ewe.com, which provides the micro generator, which is a very good device, which is portable and wearable and can still provide you with your rifling and zapping, okay? And then finally, we've got where you are now, where you can buy lots of lovely PEMF mats and all kinds of other fun things, including, of course, the ray gun. What do they have to do with Raygun? Raygun is being produced by Miramate. Miramate is a company which is under the umbrella of Spooky2. Okay, it's related to sister company. And so therefore, many of us who are interested in the products produced by Miramate are also interested in the products produced by Spooky2 and Hiwi. And some of us have rather a lot of them, including myself, because I have a very bad health history, a terrible health history, actually. And I use all of this equipment in order to manage my life and manage my conditions and keep myself in a good state of well-being. And one of the reasons that I'm excited about promoting for Spooky2, Miramate and, uh, and Hiwi is that I have gained so much benefit from their products. Okay, genuine, real, amazing stuff. So I'm pretty bold over with what it can do. Would it help with scalp? It could help with your scalp. Whether it will stop your hair falling out, I don't know. There are some long-term treatments on Spooky 2, which could be helpful with, um, with, with hair. And a bit of research into that could be useful, including especially the remote methods. All right. Um, yeah, the, 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 there will be training sessions. There there must be plenty of videos out there on how to use the Hiwi Microgen already. Uh, if if Spooky2 uh, stroke mirror mate stroke Hiwi wanted to hire me to do a course on uh, something cool like um, the, the Microgen, then I'll be happy to do that. Uh, do I have a medical background? I, I, have a, I have a background of sickness. I have a background of disease and I've had to try and live an alternative health lifestyle in order to try and find stuff out. So I could then look after myself and get myself well. And as a result, I've had to learn a hell of a lot. That's why I'm not a qualified medical practitioner. I am a guy who's had to know stuff in order to be able to survive. And I'm here now and I'm surviving, therefore it's working. Okay. Any further questions before we all put the kettle on? Do you have a question in the Q&A? Can the ray gun be used on age spots on the face? Avoid the eyes. Do everything you can to avoid the eyes. Just try and avoid any light going into your eyes, even if it's being bounced off a mirror. Why does it smell while using? Probably because of the ozone being produced. And I try your hardest not to inhale the gas, but there won't be that much being produced, so don't worry about it too much. I'm treating mold. I must have, uh, I must, I treat all areas. Yes, you've got to treat all areas where there is mold. That's if you're using the ray gun. If you're trying to go out after them because of their DNA, then you might want to use the remote methods of Spooky2 or indeed plasma. Is the ray gun more efficient for treating toenail fungus than a cold laser device? I think it could do very well at it. Very well at it. I don't know how long it would take, but it, but it will definitely help an awful lot. Use your existing methods, also add ray gun into the process, and then it'll get better. Okay. Yeah, the, the I'm I'm doing another one in about three three weeks or so, three or four weeks, and that'll be on the Spooky Two Central device, and it will be at roughly this time. So 
by all means tune in then and we can go into spooky two central and go into that in great detail for you so you'll understand what that's really about and how that can be beneficial because out of all of the devices which i use for the most part it's the plasma it's spooky, it's, it's spooky central because that's that's the thing which does me most good okay i'll i'll, I'll be looking forward to teaching again um, whenever i am requested Brilliant. Okay, so I'll be looking forward to seeing all of you guys next time, uh, uh, whether it's recorded, whether it's live, uh, what, in whatever sense, uh, whatever, I'm still available for you to, you know, get in touch with for training and mentoring and that sort of thing. Find me under the, under the name Nick Dewey on the Spooky2 forum, Spooky2 Rifle for Life. Okay, a, a lot of you people are asking about things on your face um you yes you can wear the glasses but you're gonna have to make sure that you know the lenses are in place so that you'll you, there won't be any risk of light going into your eyes and if you're trying, trying to treat your nose the possibility of light getting under the glasses is quite possible or indeed you know going through the pathways uh, into the area so i will be incredibly careful and use some common sense about that try and avoid anything to do with being close to the eyes please 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 all right. Yeah, you know, we don't want you to have to go to an emergency room because, you know, you've used a device wrong. All right. OK, I think we've covered everything. OK, I think we're pretty much done now. Uh, and so I'll bid you all fond farewell. Look after yourselves. Stay well. Carry on using all of your spooky mirror mason Huey devices because this is the way forward for you. And I'll speak to you again soon. Keep in touch via Facebook. All right. Bye for now.